Yeah, I copy. Sounds good, ma'am. Finally, some good news. After the Cajete fire forced hundreds out of their homes. Somebody knocked on the door and, like, got my shorts on, you know, trying to get half one shoe on, you know, and then I'm like, okay, yeah, I know, we're evacuating, okay, I got the call. They left not knowing what would be left when they came back. We live in the woods here, and we know this is one of the inherent dangers of living in the mountains. Is forest fires. Days later, the beautiful green now smoky gray and black. Watch as firefighters carefully put out hot spots. Till that last spark is out, this is not over. Just by looking at all of this ash and char around me, you might think that this fire has already burnt out. But firefighters say oftentimes these trees, the roots are still burning underground. And that's why it's important to wear hats like this one and use tools like this one to create a clean break to stop the fire from spreading. All these fine fuels are dead right now. As you can see, they've already been burned. However, these trees, again, are our biggest worry. As we walk through the burn scar, it's clear there's still a lot of work left to be done. Yeah, there's a lot of mop-up to do. We have to get in deep enough to make it safe, and then these areas can still burn for weeks if nobody does anything with them. Dangerous conditions that can be deadly for first responders. Is that these trees will get weak at the base and they'll silently fall in the woods. And if it happens to land on you, that can be a death or a serious injury and it happens every year. But for now, evacuees can head home. And on Father's Day, you can't get much more excited than that for what we try to do, which is get people back to where they want to be. Even if home doesn't look the way it used to. All it takes is a change in the wind. Joy Wang, KOV Eyewitness News 4.